four on his own two feet, ready to fight another day. Main event is next. All right, everybody, are you ready for your main event of the evening? This next contest is your main event of the evening, and it is a lumberjack match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first at this time, your Lumberjacks. The X factor, the most unpredictable part of a Lumberjack match is obviously the humanity that surrounds the ring. They're charged with keeping the peace, keeping the match in the ring, and making sure there's a conclusive winner. But that doesn't always end up the case, does it? Well, you got a lot of combustible elements out there, guys that quite frankly don't get along. And a lot of guys, when you give them the opportunity they're going to uh, throw fists, if you will, and take that opportunity. There's um, little Nate Wings, Ryo, Remy LeVay. It's Andrew Palace, you can tell by the hair. And, of course, Rex Brody, the squared circle stuck man. On the other side, I saw the amazing Nate Matson, Derek Direction, Jack Pollock, Seth Allen, and Ethan Wright. Ten men in total charged with keeping two in the confines of our squared circle. How do you think that will go? Well, they're going to have their hands full, to say the least. Match that's been two months in the making that we'll set the stage for as we move on. Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> and now introducing the participants. First, from Og Marsh, Iowa. Weighing in at 178 pounds, the New Age Plague, Gory! It was our Battle of Beards event. Our main event was M-Dog Mac Cross and Jason the Gift Kincaid. And it was a tremendous 15, 20 minute war. Fans on their feet. Mutual respect between Kincaid and M-Dog after the bout. Gory ruined it. Tarnished it all. But he blinded M-Dog with that trademark red mist. We haven't seen M-Dog in Turner's Hall since. Kincaid's had a vendetta against Gory for ruining that moment. Kincaid defeating an idol, a hero of his, in the same place M-Dog trained some 15 years earlier. Kincaid took that person. And his opponent, from Oak Hill, West Virginia, weighing in at 215 pounds, the gift, Jason Kincaid. From the backwoods and the mountains of West Virginia, this man does not think like any other human I know. He enjoys meditation, a very zen-like mentality. He's very soft-spoken outside the ring, but inside the ring, he is one of the most unique innovators I have ever seen Jason Kincaid pulls out at least one thing every match I legitimately never seen before in 30 years of life, 25 of which watching wrestling. Kincaid reinvents the genre night in and night out, and it's no surprise when you think about that, when you think about his time in Ring of Honor, his time with Evolve, uh, his international tours in Mexico and Canada. It's no surprise Kincaid pulled off what many called an upset when he pinned M-Dog Matt Cross in M-Dog's home, where he was born and bred as a pro wrestler here in Turner's Hall two months ago. And, you know, it's a unique matchup of styles. You know, you've got guys that are high flyers. You've got guys that are strikers. You've got guys that are technically based. And then you have that unique individual uh, that comes along where they're just unorthodox. Where you, as you mentioned, oh, you well, just spat on Kincaid. Speaking of unorthodox, where you get guys that you can't really always call their offense. And we have two right here in Jason Kincaid and Gorey. Yeah, this is, uh, I would say it's gotten personal now, but it really hasn't. It's been personal. As Kincaid sends Gore to the outside. Oh, well, wait a second. I think Gory found some uh, some friendly fire out there. Well, that's the place you want to be if you're Gory. And it's, it's definitely, you know, you're talking about Canada, Mexico, all up and down, all throughout the U.S. Every place these two individuals go, they impress. 
at how lucky we are to see these two one on one. And you know what, BC? Even in the outset of this matchup, I've noticed the Lumberjacks jawing back and forth. A lot of issues on the outside of the ring as well. The, there's a lot of, as you said, combustible elements. Nobody likes anybody out there. Well, you just think of the, the matches that Look, we've seen tonight, and, and there's there that, it is. There's that Zen-like uh, mentality, that meditation mid match from Jason Kincaid. You know, these two are a master of mind games as well. You'd have to wonder who has the advantage there in that human game of uh, human psychology and ch uh, human chess. Gore to the outside. That's not a friendly side. Andrew Palace, Rex Brody, Ryo, who Gory met last month. You know, one of the things uh, when you're in a match, especially one-on-one, -on -one, is to take that extra time, to take that breather, to take that pause for the cause, uh, as I call it, that five, ten seconds, whatever you need on the outside. And we've seen guys, they slide back in, slide out, try and get their wits about them. In this kind of match, that's not what you have. You have to have your game plan sound, and I don't know how you game plan against either of these individuals. The reason this Lumberjack match was signed was because when Kincaid went to M-Dog's aid, Gory, rather than stay and fight, turned tail and ran, and refused to cross paths with, Kin with Kincaid ever since. Uh, it has taken us two months to sign this matchup, and I'm happy we did. There'll be nowhere for Gory to run to. Kincaid gets retribution tonight. Well, I don't know if it's more running or, or biding time and picking your spot. Kincaid to the eyes, outsmarting Gory. Well, fired up. Uh, I thought we were going to see another chop or another strike. I don't know if that's very zen as a thumb to the eye. He apologized to the official. And that makes it okay. Double arm suplex by Jason Kincaid. You know, you hit the nail on the head where there's two men who's very, very tough to scout, tough to prepare for. How do you strategize? I mean, I would love to ask you, what would Jason Kincaid do? What would Gory do? What would they have to do to, to win this matchup, to have the advantage, to maintain a, a solid pacing uh, to their desire? But really, that answer could change depending on the minute of this matchup based on how quickly these men can switch directions and mindsets. Well, absolutely. These two men, oh! we just saw it right there. These are are two men that are always adapting to one another. I actually was lucky enough to see Gory's very now first... Gory's trying to run away, and they're Nate Wings, Andrew Palace, and the others are there. Well, I believe they may be overstepping their bounds and helping Kincaid. Oh, Kincaid up and over and lands on top of Gore with both feet. Now, Kincaid, he's in friendly fire territory, but what is this? Are you kidding me? Call that one, Joe. Springboard off the guardrail into a modified 619. I don't know Jason Kincaid's area code. I don't think he grew up with a phone, honestly. But Kincaid is now into the cover. Could have him? No. What I was saying earlier about these men adapting, I was actually lucky enough to see Gory's first match, his first few matches, and uh, saw Kincaid, I believe, within his first year of the wrestling business, vastly different from what we're seeing today. And you said minute by minute this can change, and we've seen that already in the first few minutes of this matchup. The only thing I'm wondering, as we always know, is who can out, for lack of a better technical term, out strange the other one, because these are two very unique, but sometimes strange and bizarre individuals. Check out the surfboard. Kincaid adds a chin lock as well. Notice Kincaid bridging up, but keeping the torque on Gory's body. Kincaid doing this to prevent trapping his own shoulders into an inadvertent pinning combination. Gory does not submit, not a surprise there, but also not a surprise we've already seen Gory try to run. Thankfully, the Lumberjacks have kept this match going. So again, uh, it's it's running or biting Oh, wait a time. second. Gory tries to send Kincaid to the outside. Kincaid smartly puts on the brakes. No friends out there. Jack Pollock, talking about overstepping your bounds. Kincaid was already headed back in the ring. At least Gory early was trying to leave when the Lumberjacks kept him in. And notice Gory now hangs Kincaid up on the top rope. Hey! Well, Seth Allen took a cheap shot. I, I must have missed that. I was looking at... Look at uh, Nate! Nate's pissed off at the world. He's going to hurt anybody he can. Well, see, this is where... Uh, Nate where, Wings is still mad at Nate Matson from earlier. Well, see, this is where the Lumberjacks need to go on their side. The other Lumberjacks had it handled. What? Are we watching the same event here? If it wasn't for Wings and, and, and uh, Rex Brody and Palace and Remy and Ryo, they'd still been stomping on Kincaid out there. I'm not seeing a downside to this, Joe. 
What do you have against Kincaid? What did he do to you? I have nothing against him. You just don't like people that are different from you. Just because he grew up in a, 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 a what you would consider an odd lifestyle, and just because he has some some odd hobbies and that you may not understand, you think he's just something wrong with him. Look at Nate Matson. Something wrong with Nate Matson. That's for sure. Well, I don't trust. Well, first of all, Nate Matson doesn't like you, so there's nothing wrong with Nate Matson whatsoever. I don't trust a man that lives in a mountain, lives in a mountain or on a mountain. And doesn't have cable or doesn't have electricity. I mean, what do you do? Read? Something wrong with books? Yeah, there's well, not the ones with pictures. You know, there's this magazine. Well, oh, never get mind. Out. Never mind. That's a whole. It's a oh, worse oh, of a oh Gory's hungry. Gory found some flesh to gnaw on. Pinfall or submission will win this thing. That you know, when you're a little kid and you're afraid that there's a monster in the closet or a monster under the bed. Well, these are the ones that you're looking for Ooh. and terrified of. Oh, Gory puts the brakes on. Gory likes to use his body as a projectile, crash into Kincaid's back with a cross body, and the momentum would carry him to the outside. But Gory knew there were nothing but enemies on the outside, so Gory had to change up his offense. Head scissors. Kincaid to the outside. Now, will they do the right thing? Of course. Oh, come on. Well, I believe the rules state that if, if the person does not get in the ring, you use any means necessary to get them in. And sometimes a kick motivates somebody to get in the ring. You're supposed to place them back in the ring yourself, not beat them up until they voluntarily do it. Well, they were all trying to actually lift him up with their feet. Uh, they just had their feet placed That's in the wrong That's terrible. Chair. You couldn't come up with a better excuse than that. Oh! Hellacious clothesline in the corner. And hangs Kincaid up. Kincaid seated, but not in a uh, meditative stance now. Oh, springboard dropkick. That could be it. Cover. No. Now maybe a little bit too early to put Kincaid. I, I take back what I said, but you know we, we saw the the lumberjacks John on the outside. This is this is going to be a, a powder keg that could explode. Yeah, not just the the, the in ring dynamic could change at any minute, but so too could out of the ring. And for the fourth or fifth time, Gory biting. Come on, official, do something. Kincaid, the worst for wear. Another cover. Gory's trying to get out of here as quickly as possible. Which is just what you said earlier. The longer a match goes, the more you're going to have to adapt. And not, not only adapt, but also pay more close attention to what your opponent's doing. Another thing we can talk about... Uh, Gory and Kincaid are both are excellent at playing possum when you think you're on the offensive and think that you have things right where you oh, need them. Look at them. this now. Well, what happened? Gory well, getting help from two or three different people for leverage on the outside. Well, they were, they were actually, uh, you know, making sure the arms were in a working order. And look at that. What, what working order, whatever the hell you're saying. They're cheating. That's illegal leverage. Jack Pollock actually uh, an arm doctor, so making sure that everything was uh, in proper order there. An arm doctor. Yeah, let's stop the match and do a checkup. Kincaid, though, is able to shift the weight. Gory with no help. Kincaid was able to, well, look at this. And Gory able to bend back. And smart move by Gory. That's the side you want to be on right now, too. Yeah, but only five seconds to apply the hold before it becomes illegal. But Gory got the most out of that foreign change. And Gory is on the outside. Why aren't the Lumberjacks throwing him back at the ring? Well, they did. See there? <laughs> Two are no. That was not the Lumberjacks. You are so absurd. They toddled him and took care of him. And they, they probably gave him a boost on that springboard. We see things in a very... We are two vastly different individuals. Yeah, no kidding. You should learn a thing or two from me. And we're also going to learn a thing or two from Gory as to what happens when you sign on to step in the ring with him. Gory could be going for the double stomp. Nobody there. Kincaid slides out of harm's way. Kincaid back suplex countered. Gory. Oh, this is the soul leader. I went out. Kincaid's but eating Kincaid, fingers. yeah, Gory was going for the Soul Eater submission attempt. If he could bend back, but Kincaid bit Gory to break the grip. I think Gory is incensed. He was beaten at his own game. Power slam, double stomp, great combo. 
And Kincaid overhead with a neck breaker. So innovative. Into the cover. This could do it. No. My God. It's Gory now on the defensive as Kincaid measures his foe. Gory reaching for, for help, for solace, but again, nothing but lumberjacks out there. This could be dangerous. We got both sides coming together right now. Yeah, Gory doesn't hit the floor. Oh, now he's on the floor. Palace has the right idea. Get him in there. Oh, we got a standoff. Come on. Well, see, this is where it breaks down. And we had to know this was going to happen sooner or later. Both both sides fending off on one another. Well, Gory's in the ring. Let's everybody calm down now and get back to the match. Go. Paddle counter roll. Two count. Well, Kincaid. The momentum set Gory to the outside. But Pollock caught Gory. See there? The Lumberjacks are doing their job. That's not his job. Well, look at Kincaid. Oh, Kincaid just said Gory. Spiraling into Pollock. And both men tumbling down. That's what Pollock gets for overstepping his bounds. What, for doing his job, being a lumberjack? That's supposed to catch people. Protect them. Just keep them in the ring. Never seen a lumberjack catch someone before? Oh. I've seen a Gory kick someone in the face before. Gory got to spring in. But Kincaid was waiting. Down with a gut buster. Kincaid on top. Could this be all? No. You know, we talked earlier about Kincaid just being a little bit different than other people. So he bent the ankle as he was pinning him to avoid uh, a kick to the face, to avoid a, a strong kick out. Gory able to obviously kick out there as we see Kincaid go to the top. Yeah, it's tougher to kick out if you're afraid your ankle might snap when you do it. Kincaid with a double stomp counter. Gory with a thrust kick. Kincaid shrugs it off. Both men center ring, tooth and nail. And Gory biting again. this out. Oh, here's the lung blower. And I'll tell you, I think that not only caught a lung blower, it may have caught ribs and jaw. So smooth, so fluid, but a near fall. And Gory is in shock that he has not found a formula to stop Jason Kincaid yet. This is the same thing M-Dog realized. Same thing all Kincaid's opponents realize. You underestimate this man, you're going to pay for it. And you never know what you're going to get. Uh, each each Kin Jason Kincaid match is different. You know, he calls himself the gift, and I'll, I'll admit he is a gift of professional wrestling, but Gory is just as much as well. Oof. And there it was again. You think you're on offense, and then he comes out with something, and then you're back on defense. Kincaid a kick to the head. Uh, wait, was that Nate Matson? No, he tripped. I think that might have been Nate Matson. Gory with a QAS. QAS, gotta know. You know, Gory's hitting him with all the, the signature uh, Gory arsenal. And he's appealing to everybody right now. I've never seen Gory this flustered before in my life. Jason Kincaid was not even out of the ring. I believe Nate Matson took it upon himself to trip up Kincaid. That was unwarranted and uh, certainly unprovoked. Gory. Listen to this crowd behind this matchup. They love the effort from both these men, especially Kincaid. Gory going for trepidation. This will do it. But Kincaid counters. Gory slips out the back door. Standing side switch Kincaid. And Kincaid a step ahead of Gory. Spring head down with a cutter. Are you kidding me? That's got to do it. Wait, Nate Matson again! No, foot's on the rope. It was there. You didn't see Nate Matson do that. No, he he was making sure the rope didn't shake. Kincaid did. Kincaid's getting hot. Well, he's a lumberjack. He's doing his job. Nate's probably upset that Kincaid... Nate probably don't think Kincaid deserves to be in a main event. He should be. Nate's angry at everybody younger than him. Crowd chanting, we hate Nate. Why do they hate Nate Wings? Stop it. Kincaid... Looking onward as these lumberjacks continue to argue as this scene gets more and more volatile. Nate Wings was getting in Matson's face a minute ago. Here comes Kincaid. Sunset flip into the corner. 
We even saw the Lumberjacks react on that. Back of the head first, Gory hits. You see Kincaid eyeing up those Lumberjacks. Tell you, he can't waste time there. Yeah, well, is Kincaid going to go coast to coast? Springboard! Oh, Gory pushed the official in the way! I, I missed it. He, he, uh, Gory pulled the official in front of him as a human shield! Well, you know what? Even if he did, it was a pretty smart maneuver. Oh, come on. And he... Uh, we can, you can smack Joe McCoy or uh, smack him all around all you want. He's not moving. Well, we need some help out here. There's no law. And Nate Matson's in the ring now. Come on. Wait a minute. That's Nate Wiggs. Retribution from earlier. And the Nates are fighting again. Oh, here we go, Joe. Oh, no, here we go. Lumberjacks explode. There's clubbering. There's fists. fists and, there's, and, and well, Joe McCoy's still down. We got 10 guys fighting all across Turner's Hall. And I'll tell you what this is doing more than anything else. Well, I was going to say it's letting uh, Gory get a breather, but Kincaid's taking one as well. Well, Kincaid surveying the scene. The, we got bodies everywhere. Good luck getting this stop, but Kincaid, his chance for revenge has been ruined. Kink, what is this? Oh, my God. Pile driver to Gory. Wait a second! Kincaid! All the Lumberjacks take it out! Well, that's one way to, to, to get things moving, I guess, is, and stop the fighting is to take them all out, but... I have no... Issue in the truck or so? What's what's going on? With this? this match has not stopped. Why are we playing music? I got nothing. As long as there's hate in your heart, there'll be hate in the world. Oh. I, I've heard about these gentlemen. But what the what the hell are these monsters doing here? That's that's the Coker Brothers. It's Otis on the left, his leader and brother Atticus on the right. These men are sick, they are sadistic, they are bloodthirsty. They may be eyeing up some more victims. Oh, that, that's Nate Wings. These men are the kind of people that'll take a human body, dissect it, and make an end table out of it. These guys are nuts. Well, it looks like they're going to need a, a nice armoire made out of Nate Wings right now. Who knows what they have hiding in that shed in their backyard? I've seen videos profiling these men. They are sick. And they... Oh! They just love to damage and mutilate. And they made Nate Wings their personal plaything, their example. But why? Why here? Why now? I'm not aware of the... Wait a second. Is there some kind of relationship here? The, the Koger brothers are here on behalf of Gory. They've came out to make... They, they've come to make a statement and back Gory up and Kincaid is now trapped three on one. Oh, well, three on two, anyway. Remy LeVay's recovered, and he's ready to rejoin the fight. It's three on two. They're, they at least have a chance, but look at the visual. This is... What? That, that looked like Black Mist. And the Cogars and Remy LeVay helping the Cogars assault Kincaid. Well, this is not good oh, no. for Kincaid. No! Jeez. Was that what... Re oh. Gory stirs the official. Kincaid is blinded. He may have broken ribs. And Gory's won the Lumberjack match. Here is your winner, Gory! Remy said to you earlier... Thank you.
Yeah, the, the, the path has been set, the direction has been set. Is that what he's referring to? The Koger brothers have been waiting in the wings all this time. Remy LeVay. Who knows how long Gory has been playing this? Look at this again. This hellacious impact. And no way to protect yourself if you're Kincaid. No way at all. And Kincaid has been sacrificed. And we've got the Koger brothers, Remy LeVay, and Gory. Kincaid has been sacrificed all to the benefit of this sadistic foursome. These men are not right. These men, what's wrong with you people? As if Gory needed backup to turn this company upside down. These men may be unstoppable. Kincaid is motionless. Nate Wings is hurt. These men have done a ton of damage and left bodies in their wake. And I noticed Andrew Palace, a longtime friend of Remy LeVay, looking on. He's in shock just like the rest of us. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I'll say that for all the superstars of PCW, having Gory, the Coger brothers, and Remy LeVay as a single unit does not bode well for anybody. There you see the damage, the wreckage. The victims, the bodies, strewn throughout this building. Apparently the infection has spread. Gory has brainwashed these men. Is this the culmination to Gory's macabre plan to take over PCW? 